Hi, happy Tuesday. Welcome back to Chats with Chase. Here's today's tip. Here I've got an assembly of your average propane grill. You can see over in the feature manager design tree that it's got a few sub-assemblies in it. An issue that we see come up once in a while is that after making an assembly like this, people expect to be able to see the movement and behavior that this would have in real life. For example, if I want to show the inside of this grill, I'd expect to be able to grab this handle and try and open it. But then the movement doesn't happen. So you go back and you double check the sub-assembly, but it works perfectly fine there. There's usually a pretty simple explanation to this. When you insert an assembly into another assembly, they automatically come in as rigid items. The program will essentially treat them like they're one single part. The fix for this is pretty quick. Simply right click on the subassembly that isn't behaving properly and come up here where it says make subassembly flexible. Its little emblem in the tree changes. Now this blue block is sort of floating over there, showing that it's a flexible subassembly. Now if we come over and grab this handle, the lid should open and close as intended. Thanks for watching. Contact us with any questions and I'll see you tomorrow.